Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss another method of Python, which is find method. Okay, so find method is used to search uh, for a particular position of a character. Okay, so let's say if you want to find out the position of letter H in your string, then you can simply pass H as an argument and it will find out if it is there, then it will return the position. Okay, so for this method explanation, I have created three scenarios. So we will discuss one by one each scenario. So let's go with the first scenario. So here you can see that uh, we are storing the string as hello world in text variable and then we are printing the variable as it is before using any method. So before method use, I am concatenating this variable without any modification. So it will print hello world. Then on line number 11, we are using a find method on text uh, text variable. So text dot find and here I am passing the argument as capital H. So what it will do, it will look into the string for capital H and whatever the value or the position it will find, it will return that index value. Okay. One more thing uh, here very important is like uh, in Python, the indexing start with zero. So it will find the H on zeroth position. Why? Because it is start from zero, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So likewise, it will go from 0 to 12. Okay, so let's save this and see the output for first. I will run my terminal control shift tilde. And here I will try with uh, my program call will be Python program name is session 16.py and enter. So it will print the output for three scenarios. So we will focus on the first one. So it returns zero. Why? Because zero position is for capital H which is correct one more thing here we can explore that if you are passing small h then it will not give any value it will return minus one why because this value is not there and it is case sensitive so if I hit enter so it should return minus one which is correct because small h is not there it there is capital H so this is the one way through which we can check the position of any character Another scenario is for finding the word in a string. So let's say from this text Sharmit, I want to find out where the Sharmit word is there in the entire string. Right now, this is a small word, but it might be possible that it is a long string and through which you want to find out whether it is it contains that word or not. So in that case, we can use find method. So firstly, we are storing the value in text variable. Then we are printing the value as it is before any modification. And after that, I'm using text.find function to find out the word Shermit. It will return the index of that value. And then we are printing that index value by concatenating it with uh, after method used. And this is index value. So we are converted, converting it to str function uh, using str function. Okay. So you can see in second scenario, firstly, it is printing text Shermit and then it is returning fifth position. Why? Because Shermit is start from fifth position. So let's check. 0 1 2 3 4 and fifth so this is the fifth position that's why it is returning as a fifth position now third scenario is for let's say if I'm trying to find out the word which is not there in my string so what it will do in that case it will return minus one so minus one is indicating that this particular word or a particular character is not available in that string whatever the character or word we are passing in a argument it is not present in the string that's why it is returning minus one okay so let's verify this so if you scroll down you can see for last scenario it is showing minus one because abc is not present in this uh, string right if we pass tech then it will return zero position because tech is presented zero position so let's confirm that now i will do page up you can see it returns zero okay and if we found something which is not there then it will return let's say i i will pass xyz which is not there so it will return minus one again because this is not present in our string so these are the some common ways through which we can utilize find method to check whether a string contains a character or word or not okay so i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture